we're good. All right, it looks like I'm in pajamas, but these are actually real pants. I got them for Christmas. Well, they're sweatpants, but they're pants. They're not pajamas. And I love them. But I realize on camera they look a little pajama-like, but that's okay. It's winter break. I'm allowed to be in my pajamas. Okay. Actually, I can be in my pajamas anytime I want, right? <laughs> okay. If you can hear my music, great. If you can't, feel free to use your own music. We're going to take a few moments to settle down and settle in. I know we've all experienced a lot of challenges this year, especially Debbie. And we're learning along the way. We're learning how to get through difficult times. We're learning how strong we are. <clears throat> and we're learning to find what it takes to get through. So sometimes it's just changing your thoughts about your situation. So if you have a situation that is just feeling overwhelming, for example, being quarantined, and your thoughts are, I can't be alone, I hate being alone, this is going to be the worst 10 days ever. If you think about those thoughts for a moment and what feelings those thoughts create, I don't think those thoughts are going to serve us. To me, those thoughts would create anxiety, fear. So changing the thought, but not the circumstance. When the circumstance is the same, it could be any circumstance that you're going through, but just taking being quarantined as an example, just changing the thought a little bit. I can do it. I can get through it. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, but I have a plan for each day, and I'm going to get through it. Think about if you thought those thoughts, how that makes you feel. Confident, a little less anxious. So we can all practice using that thought model for all different circumstances that we're in. And then once you have these feelings in your body, remembering that feelings are just vibrations in the body, and that you can process any feeling by taking the time to breathe and feel and soften. So let's spend the next hour or so together on our mats, just processing through. So letting go of any anxiety, letting go of any heaviness just by breathing and feeling and trying to find a little bit more ease. And then as we move our bodies, we'll connect the movement to breathing, which is very meditative to help quiet the chatter in the mind and release physical tension. So let's start by drawing the knees into the chest Rocking left to right a little bit, making some circles with the knees in one direction and then the other. And then we'll lift our feet up towards the ceiling, lengthening the backs of the legs as you ground down with your hips and low back. We'll take the arms up and back, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears, soft elbows if you need to. Any movement with the feet you'd like to make, pointing and flexing, circles with the ankles. We're going to take a full deep breath in here, and then as you exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Option to lift your forehead to your knees if you want to, you don't have to. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift, and exhale, hug the knees in. Three more times, just like that. Move with the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in through the nose. And then
And then when you breathe out of the mouth, it's coming from the throat. Exhale. Like you're fogging your sunglasses. One more time, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, both feet come down to the floor. We're going to take your foot, your right foot, into the strap. If you have a yoga strap, which hopefully you do, place the loop around your head at your upper back, making sure it's not twisted. So you want to find the deepest expression of this pose. So where you can come into the pose where it feels tight, not pulling or straining, but feels like you're doing the work here. You can soften the knee, you can let your left leg go straight, you can relax, relax your arms by your sides. We're gonna pause here, eyes are closed, and we're breathing. Notice what you're feeling in the body. So physically what you're feeling, maybe tightness in the back of the leg, and then notice any vibrations in the body, what you're feeling, maybe in your stomach, in your chest, around your neck and throat. And then breathe through, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth. Think about letting go on your exhale. And then when you breathe in, if you're having trouble calming the mind, you can have that positive thought available to think and say to yourself. And that can be whatever that thought is that makes you feel confident, less stressed, makes you feel good. Even if that thought is just, I can get through this. I can get through anything. I can do it. I am doing it. So we'll take one more deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, we're gonna soften that right knee, reach your right foot over to the left. It's nice to get into the IT band. Try to relax the right hip. Feel grounded down through your right shoulder. Pause and breathe. Try to stay relaxed around the face, neck and shoulders. And then just feel the rise and fall of your chest and belly as you breathe. It also helps to notice the part of the body that's touching the ground and feel grounded down. Often when we're anxious or feeling stressed, we feel like we are a little bit out of control, but if you can ground yourself down, you can feel a little bit more anchored and a little bit more in control. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Let's soften the right knee, bring the right foot back to center, take the right foot out of the strap, bend the left knee, figure four. You're gonna reach for the back of your left thigh. Breathing deeply, relax the shoulders. A little tilt to the left and draw your left knee into your left shoulder. We're gonna flex the right foot. So just noticing what you feel around that hip, even maybe in the low back. <clears throat> And then you just want to find softness here. 
And then when we're in these still poses, these are a little bit more meditative than when we're moving or in a more challenging pose. So take the time here to recognize your thoughts and those vibrations in the body. And then just breathe to process, breathe through. breath in and full breath out and then let's release the left foot down to the floor right foot comes down to the floor feet are both mat width apart and you're just gonna winch away for the knees left to right so you're opening up the hip flexor and the tops of the thighs Getting some movement into the hips and low back, lengthening through the spine. So when you feel your knee, your inner knee, pulling away from your hip, you're lengthening your low back, creating space. And then we'll come back to center. Right foot is on the floor, left foot comes into the strap. Find the edge of the pose. So when you come to the place where, oh, this is tight, but you're not in pain, and you're also not just hanging out in a super, super comfortable pose. You want a tiny bit of discomfort back here in the back of the leg so your body can do the work. We're going to let the right leg go straight. Palms up. Eyes closed. Breathing deeply. See if you can actually feel the softening, the letting go. See if you can feel your body relax. Notice tension melting away. Noticing your back getting a little bit more grounded down to the ground, to the earth, feeling a little bit more stable. Exhale, we're going to soften the left knee. We're going to reach the left foot over to the right. Lengthening your left heel away from your left hip. The left hip is grounding down. Left side of the rib cage, holding on to the strap. Left shoulder down. Eyes are closed. Breathing deeply, allowing the tightness and tension that you feel in the left leg. Feel it, feel it soften as you let go of tightness and tension. Relax the body. breath in and then as you exhale let's come back to center with the left leg bend the right knee let your left foot come out of the strap figure four left ankle over the right leg reach for the back of the right thigh and draw the right knee in towards the chest 
Little shift of the legs over to the right. Right knee comes in towards the right shoulder. Relax both shoulders. Feel what you feel around the left hip. Breathe deeply. Let that go. Notice the face, the jaw, space between the eyebrows. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll bring the legs back to center. Release. Both feet come down to the floor, mat width apart. And again, windshield wiper the legs. When you come to the right, Really take your left knee and reach it away from your left hip. Your low back lengthens, it arches, it comes off the floor. Left shoulder stays down. And then the same with the other side. Really reach your right knee away. Open up the back, the rib cage. Lengthening through the front of the body, the back of the body. And then we'll come back to center with the legs, hug the knees into your chest. And then we'll slowly make our way off our backs, coming up to seated. And then we'll come right onto hands and knees. So you can move your strap out of the way. Feel free to put a blanket underneath your knees if you want a little extra support. I have two mats. So that gives me my extra cushion. Knees are gonna come parallel, big toes touch, hips sink down on your heels, hands reach way out in front. If you want to go deep, have your elbows and your forearms off the floor. And if you want to go even deeper, lift your palms so the pads of your fingers are on the floor and then drop the forehead down. Let your belly go in between your legs. Knees are not too wide yet. So I want to focus a little bit more on the shoulders and the upper back here. Breathe into the back. Opening up the lungs. Shoulders melting down. You are more than welcome to take the palms down. You're even welcome to let the arms relax down. You can roll the forehead left to right, but stay grounded down through the forehead. That's where they say we have our sense of intuition in that part of the brain that is triggered when you press down on the forehead. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's come up onto hands and knees. The knees are gonna stay underneath the hips. Your wrists are gonna come underneath your shoulders. Maybe a little bit more in front. We're gonna curl the toes under and press down with the pads of your toes to really stretch out the bottoms of your feet. Soft elbows, take a deep breath in as you drop the belly, lift the chin. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin, round the back. So push the hands down, relax the top of the feet on the floor. Inhale, curl the toes under, soften the elbows as you drop the chest, lift the chin. And exhale, tuck and round. 
One more time, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Let's come back to neutral spine. Left foot is going to go back. Toes are down. We're going to take the back of your right hand. Let it rest on your low back for a moment. And then pull your belly in so much that your back lifted into your hand. Lifting the left leg. Keep your left, right hand where it is. Don't let it sink down. Keep your belly pulled in a lot as you reach your right hand forward. Doesn't have to be shoulder height, a little bit lower. So you can relax the shoulders. Lengthen through your spine. Lengthen through the neck. Your crown of the head is reaching away from your left heel, from your tailbone. Pause here and breathe. Take a full deep breath in. And then as you exhale, right hand comes down. Left toes find the floor behind you. Pivot, <clears throat> excuse me, your right foot to the right. Roll to the arch of your left foot. Left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. You can stay right here. You can lift your left leg. You can reach your top arm towards the front of the room over your head. You can let your left foot come down and cross your right ankle in front of the left as you lift your hips. Or you can scoot your right foot under your left foot and then maybe lift your left leg. So play around with how you feel here. How strong you're feeling today. Maybe you let your left foot come down onto your right leg for tree pose. A fallen tree, but not on a joint. Building strength here. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly come down to hands and knees. Your knees are going to touch. Big toes and heels touch. Sit down on your heels. Let your hands come by your feet or ankles, forehead down. Relax your neck, roll left to right here. Pause and breathe. Relax your arms and shoulders. In through the nose and out of the mouth. Take one more full breath in here and then as you exhale, let's bring the hands back to tabletop. Knees come apart so that you're hip width apart. We're going to take three breaths here, just moving the spine with your breath. As you inhale, lift the chin. As you exhale, tuck the chin. Inhaling. And exhaling. Just getting some movement in the spine, lengthening the neck and spine. Inhale and exhale. We're going to come back to neutral. We'll take the right foot straight back. Push back with the toe, the heel. Left hand comes on your low back. Push your low back into your hand. Notice where that comes from. It comes from your core. We're going to lift the right heel, not all the way up to the hip. Keep it a little bit lower. Left hand reaches towards the front of the room a little bit lower than your shoulder. Keep the belly in. So if you're super engaged in your core, you should feel this in the front of your belly, even the sides and your back. We all know how important it is to have that strong core. Protect us from injury. Help with our posture. Take a deep breath in. 
and then as you exhale, left hand comes down, right toes come down, pivot your left foot to the left, roll to the arch of your right foot, right hand reaches up, you can stay right here, weight bearing on your left hip and your left shoulder, that's perfect, if you want to lift your right foot, you can, you can move your top arm if you'd like. You can come into the modified side plank by having your ankles crossed, or you can stack your arches. Maybe you try and experiment with lifting that right leg. It's not easy. Maybe you come into tree, fallen tree. Not a lot of pressure on that leg, especially not on the knee. Hips are lifted. Beautiful, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, slowly make your way back down. Knees together, child's pose. Let your hands come behind you. You can even let them come on your low back and hold on to one wrist. Opening up the shoulders a little bit more, you can roll left to right. If you wanna get a little bit more into the head and neck, you can lift your hips a little bit as you roll onto the top of your head, but not all the way to the center of the top. Just kind of rolling, you can roll angle to the right, angle to the left. A lot of us carry tension in the neck. Some of us get tension headaches or migraines. It's a really nice way to just kind of massage the head, not passing the center of your head though, just the front should feel good and then coming back to center you can switch the wrists if you're holding on to your wrists relax your shoulders notice if it's harder to breathe with your belly and chest squished into your thighs and if you could open a little bit more in the back and your sides, you can feel your side ribs expanding. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Come on up onto forearms here. So your forearms are coming in front of you. Your elbows are under your shoulders. I like to have my fingertips touching but you can have your hands however you'd like, just not clenched in a crazy fist. So just, I like to have my fingertips touch. I'm gonna step my right foot back and the left foot back. If this is not available to you, knees go down, tops of the feet go down. You're pulling your belly in and up. You are feeling this throughout your entire core. Your belly, the sides, love handles, and your back. Try not to let your hips sag down. You want them lifted. You want space between your shoulder blades and space between your shoulders and your ears. Lengthen through the neck. Stay soft in the neck. Breathe deeply here. Close the eyes. You are stronger than you think you are. You're gonna dig deep here. Find your inner strength. And continue to breathe with ease in through the nose and out of the mouth. Take a full breath in. And then let's drop the knees, walk your hands back. Just have an extended arms child's pose for a moment. Just pulling the shoulders back, reaching the fingertips forward. And then we'll come back up onto hands and knees. And we're gonna step your left foot forward up between your hands. So if you'd like to have your hands on blocks, feel free. I'll show today without, just in case people don't have them. 
You're gonna frame your front foot. I find it helpful to use fingertips. Your hips are gonna sink down. So let the hips be heavy. Your left ankle does not go in front of your left knee. So when you sink down and forward, the left knee stays where it is. Look forward, open up the chest here. Feel your crown of the head lengthening through the neck and spine. That's your deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just let the hips go back and tuck your chin. You don't have to go too far back. Inhale, forward, lift the chin, open the chest. Exhale, pull back. One more time, just like that. Inhale, forward and down, open. And exhale, pull back. And then we'll come back to forward. We're gonna curl the right toes under and lift your right knee if you can. If not, then keep the right knee down. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. Right hand stays where it is. The left hand is gonna come on to your left hip to remind it to stay here. Turn your belly, rib cage, and chest to the left. Lift your left hand up towards the ceiling. Inner thighs drawing towards each other. Your back thigh is strong. If you need to drop the knee, you can. Arms reach away from each other. Fingertips away from each other. Lengthening your wingspan here. Opening up through your chest and collarbones. Beautiful, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're gonna take the left hand down to the inside of your front foot. Drop your right knee. Relax your right foot. Turn your left toes to 10 o'clock. Roll to the pinky side of your left foot. If you can come down onto forearms, you can try that. You don't have to. Maybe your forearms can be on blocks. Maybe you want to stay open a little bit in the chest to the left and take your left hand on your left knee. If you want to try, you don't have to, you can bend your right knee and take your left hand back for your right foot, but you don't have to. Pause here, breathe, sway left to right, releasing any tightness and tension that we hold on to in the hips. This will help free up your low back. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just gonna walk your hands back. Let your hands come onto your hips. Your left leg is coming straight out. Toes are up, heel is down. You're just gonna hinge from your hips forward. If you can reach the floor, great. If not, keep your hands on your hips or use blocks. Pull your left heel back as you push it down. So you're lengthening the whole left leg, but you're neutralizing out your hip. We had the hip wide open. Bring it right back to center. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. So now we're gonna take your left foot, drag it back so it lands right underneath your left knee. Both hands are gonna go about a foot in front of your left foot. Curl your right toes under and push off with your right foot. You're on your left foot. Finding strength in your left leg. If you wanna stay here, you can. If you want to have your right hand on the floor, left hand can come onto your left hip. Turn your belly, rib cage, and chest to the left as you reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. Back foot is flexed, all five toes pointed down. You don't have to have your back foot lifted and you don't have to have your hands off the floor, but you're all weight bearing on your left leg, which is helping rebuild bone density, especially around the knee and hip joint. Deep breaths. 
Take one more full breath in, and then as you exhale, right foot comes down next to the left. Bend your knees so that your belly is on your thighs. Hands come down to the floor. You're gonna take both hands underneath your feet. So you're stepping on your palms. Your head is hanging down, and then you're just gonna lift. So you're lifting with your back to release your neck and shoulders, your upper back. This should feel really good. Let the head hang and let it sway left to right. Take a deep breath in and then as you exhale, both hands come down, step one foot back, drop the knee, other foot back, drop the knee. Take a child's pose if you'd like or you can do cat-cow on hands and knees you can take a downward dog if you'd like. Just take five breaths in any resting pose of your choice. I love child's pose, so I'm always gonna choose that, but it's up to you. Just breathing in through the nose and out of the mouth. Let your eyes be closed, reconnect. Try to feel grounded down to the mat, to the ground, to the earth. And then when you're ready, Come on to hands and knees and step your right foot forward up between your hands. Your left knee is pretty far back, so you want to feel the weight of your hips moving down towards your mat so you can really get deep in your left hip flexor. Chest is reaching forward, shoulders are down, you're looking forward. That's your deep breath in. Exhale, hips pull back, let the head drop round through your back. Inhale, hips go down, chest forward. Exhale, pull back. One more time, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. And then coming back to forward, hips are down. If you can lift your left knee, you can. If not, you can leave it on the floor. Make sure your right knee is over your right ankle. Left hand is on the floor. I like tented fingers. Right hand comes on the outside of your right hip. Turn to the right, your belly, rib cage, and chest. Lift your right hand. Lift your back thigh. Feel your right hip moving in towards your center. Your right inner thigh moving in. Nice and strong here. Open through the chest. You're creating the muscle memory here that you're gonna need for when you're standing in that revolved half moon. Very similar pose, but just adding the component of balance. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, right hand comes down, left knee comes down, top of the left foot comes down. Let's turn your right foot to the right. Roll to the pinky side. Sway left to right here. Get deep into the left hip flexor and the right hip. carry a lot of emotional stress and tension in the hips. So use this opportunity to breathe deeply and let that go. 
You can come down to forearms on blocks, forearms on the floor. Try to relax the head and neck. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, turn your right toes forward. Press your right foot down as you try to come up. Hands on your hips. Peel your right toes back. Push your right heel down and pull it back. You can hinge from the hips and go forward and have your hands down on the floor or on blocks or you can stay upright. You just wanna feel strong in your right hip. So you're really pushing down with that right heel and pulling back. Open through the chest, able to breathe. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're gonna pull that right foot back. It's gonna land right underneath your right knee. Both hands walk in front. Left toes curl under and you can just push off and pause here with your left foot down and play around with maybe lifting the toes to try to get some more strength in that right leg. Or you can lift the left leg. If you would like, you can take your right hand on your right hip, turn to the right and lift your right hand up towards the ceiling. Flex back foot, breathing here, lengthening your fingertips away from each other, lengthening your crown of the head away from your tailbone and your heel, lengthening your breath, super strong and balanced here. Take a deep breath in and then as you exhale, Right hand comes down, left foot comes next to your right. Your, thigh, your belly is resting on your thighs. Here you're just gonna take your hands, interlay, uh, hold on to opposite elbows behind your legs. Let your head hang and then try to lift your back. Open up the shoulders between the shoulder blades. Feel open through your collarbones, lengthen through your neck, your legs pressing into your arms is creating a lot of space around your upper body, around your neck and shoulders. Take a deep breath in and then as you exhale, hands come down, one foot steps back, drop the knee, other foot back, drop the knee, child's pose or resting pose of your choice. If you prefer downward dog, if you want to take a few breaths in cat cow, we're going to take five breaths here, breathing in and breathing out. Eyes are closed. through the nose, out of an open mouth from the back of the throat. And then from here, press yourself up onto your knees, send both feet to the right, Come down onto your left hip. Send both feet to the front. You're gonna take the soles of your feet together. Nice big diamond. Take your arms up overhead, full breath in. Separate the hands like you're holding a giant beach ball. Hinge forward like you're handing the person in front of you the ball. 
and then relax. Melt down over your legs. Hips are open. Relax the neck and shoulders. Lengthen through your spine. We'll take the next three breaths with just little movements here. So when you breathe in, take the crown of the head and reach it away from your tailbone. And then when you breathe out, let your chest melt a little bit closer down towards the floor. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. One more time, inhale. And exhale. We'll come back up to center. Let the knees come together as you make your way down onto your back. We'll take the right thigh, cross it over the left thigh. You're going to scoot your hips over to the right about an inch or two and let your legs drop over to the left. If this feels too deep, you can uncross the legs and just stack them. This is creating a lot of length in your spine, opening up through the chest and collarbones. You can keep your face looking up towards the ceiling or you can turn your head over your right shoulder. center, uncross them if they're crossed. Even out your hips, cross your left thigh over the right. Scoot your hips over to the left, legs drop to the right. Again, if it's too much having the legs crossed, then just take your top leg off. Relax the legs, the hips. chest and the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the legs back to center, even out the hips, hug the knees into the chest, give your low back a nice stretch. You can bring your forehead to your knees if you'd like. And then we'll release and come into Shavasana. Final relaxation pose. Be comfortable. Have something that you'd like to put under your legs to support your back, you can. Something under the head and neck. We're going to let the palms face up. So in Shavasana today, I'm going to talk you through that thought model that I find so helpful. when you're trying to get through something difficult. Feel free to mute me if you'd like to take a quiet Shavasana. So the eyes are closed, the body is relaxed. And I'd like you to just think for a moment about a circumstance, an upcoming circumstance that may be causing you a little bit of angst, just a little bit of angst. going on with a relative or a friend, uh, not being able to celebrate New Year's the way you'd like to, something to do with COVID, just a circumstance that is in your life that 
that's causing you to feel a little yucky. So you take that circumstance, and it is what it is. It's a fact. There's no opinion about it. It's a fact. And then we have thoughts about things, about circumstances, about events, about anything. We have thoughts. So see what your brain is coming up with as a thought about that circumstance. I'll use a, a simple example of New Year's Eve. So not being able to celebrate the way you'd like to. And your thought is, this New Year's Eve is gonna stink, we've had the worst year ever, it's so unfair that I can't celebrate the way I want to. This stinks. That's the thought. <clears throat> and then think about the vibrations in your body, the feelings that that thought creates, because our thoughts create our feelings. To me, that feels frustrating, disappointing, sad. And then we notice in our body where we feel those thoughts around your chest and your stomach. Some people feel it in their limbs because they're clenched fists. So you just notice where in the body you feel those feelings. And then you pause and process those feelings simply by breathing. So this could take up to five minutes, maybe 10. As you practice and get good at processing your feelings, it might only take a few breaths. Once you begin to process the feelings, you'll see that you begin to feel less intensity. A softening, a melting away, a letting go. And then you go back. The circumstance is the same. You change your thought now. This New Year's Eve is going to be quiet and special, and I'm going to make it really fun for just my people and my immediate family. And then you see how that thought makes you feel. That makes me feel excited, happy, looking forward. I feel light around the heart, soft in my belly. And then just breathe. So I went through that a little fast, but that thought model really helps when you have a circumstance that's creating thoughts in your mind that are not serving you, that are making you feel feelings that you don't want to feel. So you get to change the narrative. You get to decide what thoughts you want to have. You get to decide how you want to feel. We are in control. We have a lot more power than we think. Let's take your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. Feel your breath. Notice your body. Notice your breathing. Notice your thoughts and feelings. And take a moment to just be. And begin to breathe deeply and start to move the body gently. We'll slowly transition out of Shavasana and we'll come to sit together. Eyes are closed. Spine is tall, heart is open, shoulders are relaxed. 
We'll take the right hand over your heart, the left hand over your right hand. And remember that we are all connected. Not only are we here with each other, but we are here for each other. Let's bring the palms together in front of your heart center to honor your practice and honor each other. Namaste.